A deep sea diver's journey can be mapped as a quadratic function. He does a deep dive and reaches a maximum depth of 80 meters at 90 seconds. What is the diver's depth after 100 seconds rounded to the nearest meter? All right, let's try it out. So you could think this is like the vertex. So, uh, vertex at 90 comma negative 80. Be careful not to mix those numbers up. Sometimes I've done that. And you do f of x equals a parentheses x minus 90 squared minus 80. Okay. And we want to find a another point we have is zero zero the value that it is at the beginning so then f of zero equals a 90 squared minus 80 you can find it now in the calculator and just do f of zero equals zero right this equals zero and we'll do we'll add 80 and then divide so it's going to become 80 divided by oh, 80 divided by 90 squared get 0 0.009872, take that value, copy it, then plug that equation back in. So we'll have this, then we're gonna have 100 seconds minus 90 squared minus 80, and we're gonna get negative 79. So our answer will be negative 79. Another way to do it is to do it almost purely with Desmos using the function, the tables again. So you'll do a table, get rid of this. So one value we have is zero, zero. And the other value we have is 90, negative 80. Now what happens here when you get the equation and we do a quadratic regression, it gives us this, which doesn't look right because they don't know that the 90, negative 80 is the minimum. They just think it's another value. So we have to find another value. What you could do is you could do 180 because it has to be symmetrical. So at 180 seconds, you're gonna be back to the top, negative one, and then that's gonna equal zero. So we have the same thing. We could take that value, copy it, and then put that here, make it equal to f of x, and then do f of 100, and we get the same thing, negative 79.01, which is negative 79.